Osteomyelitis is an infection of the bones. Most common bones affected include the bones of the feet, but often we can see what we call sacral bone osteomyelitis. This is a region in the low back where the skin breaks down and there's death and destruction of the tissues and sometimes the muscles and the fat that's there. Now a patient will present to the emergency department. They will have been complaining of several days of a skin wound that fails to heal despite dressings, antibiotic ointments. They go to their doctor's office or they'll show up to the ER. And in the ER, we examine the foot or the site of infection. An x-ray can tell you some um, about the destruction and the extent, but often an MRI is requested by our orthopedic consultants because they want to see the full extent of the destruction of the bone within the tissue. Now surgery is needed and what they'll do is they'll go inside and debride or clean off all the dead tissues, dead skin, and, and try to surgically clean the, the infected bones as well. However, they will also be amputating the bones if feasible. If they are unable to amputate the bones and you have an infection still there, the patient will need six weeks of IV antibiotic therapy. They'll end up getting an IV line placed in their arm and they will often go home with arrangements being made. Now, most of the time, the patient can go home with antibiotics delivered to the house. Uh, a home healthcare nurse through special agencies will come out and assist the patient and their family members in administering the medications. Rarely do we have to send a patient to an LTAC or a skilled nursing facility for antibiotic administration. Causes of osteomyelitis are many, but uncontrolled diabetes, we're talking about blood sugars over 200, 300 sometimes, can lead to the development of skin wounds and ulcers that fail to heal and eventually lead to bone infection.